Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day and hope you are ready for another tutorial. Today we are going to check out the best free alternative to OBS, which we can install on Windows and we can also install on Mac OS. So we are going to check out how we can install and start using today. And besides that, I'm going to share with you something really easy and basic that will allow you to, for example, share your Windows desktop and show to your audience or do a live stream. And besides Besides that, let's add a face cam that you can see on the bottom right corner and also a background image. Now besides that, if we want to make a small change like this while we are recording and changing just the background we can and if we want to do something a little bit more fancy like transitions between scenes which are really really easy here in Melt Studio and not so easy to accomplish in OBS. So if you are interested in recording your screen or streaming your screen Let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft soft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below and now let's go to the desktop at this moment i've got here melt studio website you just need to search on google for melt studio you will find the web page and if you have mac os you just need to download for mac os and if you have windows then just press join the windows beta and then you will be able to insert your email right over here and once you insert your email you will have to wait one or two days and then you will receive one email with a link to confirm and then in a couple of hours you will receive the link to download and install on windows now at this moment you are watching my desktop with windows Windows and my face is right over there just to explain to you that at this moment I'm using OBS to record Meld Studio. Now one other thing that I want to share with you before we go and do that scene is that I already tried here on my MacBook Pro which is what I'm using right now so this is Meld Studio completely empty which we are going to uh, use it and test it out. By the way it's the same layout on Windows and on Mac OS so what we are going to see here on Mac OS will be exactly the same on Windows. Now one of the things that I did try out was to install Meld Studio here on Windows which is virtualized on Mac OS which has the M1 Pro chip which is an ARM chip and what happens I will show you right over here Melt Studio it will start but it will give me this unsupported CPU error so for those of you that have a laptop with the latest CPUs from ARM on the Windows side Probably you will not be able to use them at this moment with Melt Studio, so let's see in the future. On the macOS side, no issues at all. On the Windows side, if you are on a Windows computer, a normal Windows computer, then great, because I already tested on two of my laptops at the back, but here, no. And I wanted to share with you this video because I can show you Windows, I can show you macOS at the same time, but it's not working on virtualization with macOS. That being said, let's go and start this tutorial so that we don't take too much. Now, here we are with Melt Studio completely empty and I've got only one scene and I want to add a layer. Now, one of the things that I want to add is my desktop. And one thing that I really enjoy is that once we press plus and decide what we want, it will create a layer right over here on the screen. I just need to select what I want. Now I've got two choices here because I've got an external display connected to my Mac and I've got another, not external display, it's a HDMI dummy so that I can put my um, MacBook Pro on a different resolution. But if I select this Mi TV and if I press right click can fit to canvas it will show me here what we are doing but if I want to change and if I select my Philips which is right over there it's showing me OBS right over here so what we are going to do uh, to be easier to that side of the screen and probably easier to me as well is I'm going to leave it here as my main display although my main display is this one here with Melt Studio but uh, leaving it like this it will show me this 
this infinitive image, which honestly, I'm not a fan. Uh, so if I leave it like this, I will see my OBS configuration, which you can see right over here with webcam. And this webcam, if I go to the filters, it will show me a lot of stuff that I've got right over here. <laughs> so really crazy stuff to accomplish something which is really, really simple on Melt Studio. And I'm going to share with you in just a few moments. So we've got the desktop right over here. Now let's put in one image. Now the image I did download a few images here let's open this one this is a really cool image let's put it like this you can decide to put any other image now let's apply an effect i'm going to select here gaussian blur and i'm going to the options and let's increase that so now it's no more a hippopotamus something that we don't recognize what it is but it has a nice background let's try here repeat edges probably yeah okay let's leave it like this let's drag the image below and here let's decrease the size of my screen something like this and something like this, which is completely centralized on the screen. Now, we've got our desktop and a background image. If you don't like the background image, then just leave your desktop as it is and it will be just fine. But here, let's add that for those that want. Now, one of the things that sometimes I enjoy to do on my videos, which uh, might have a few cons as well, is to round the edges. We just need to go here and we can select this is too much but just a little bit now let's apply an effect which is the drop shadow and this one looks really nice let's go to the options here let's select which distance we want something like this we can do some softness and we can increase the opacity so something like this looks really really nice so if i disable and enable we can see it better now one of the things that i'm going to do right now is to disable my webcam on the obs side so that you don't see it here on the screen because we are going to add it with melt studio and for that uh, i will need to add one more thing before we do let's add another image so that we can do a transition there and let's add probably this one let's open it up i'm going to do exactly the same which is to increase I'm going to put this right over here. Let's go to Gaussian Blur. Let's go and increase it to something like this and probably repeat edges. Okay, let's drag it down. And in this case, what I can do is if I disable this one, I have this one. So I can do this while I'm live streaming and while I'm recording, which is something really, really cool. Now let's add the webcam. So we want to add a video device. And there we go. We have the placeholder here. Just select the device. I want my FaceTime HD, which is not the best choice, but for this video, it will have to do. Now it's on... Uh, not the top so let's put it on the top and here it is now i could leave it like this i could decrease it if you want something really simple can put it right over there and there we go but i don't really i'm not a fan of this look so let's increase it so that we can see better what we are going to do i'm going to select the crop function and i'm going to crop it right over here and uh, you are seeing right over there 1209 i'm going to reach more or less that number uh, so that we have almost a perfect square it doesn't need to be exact so if i leave it with a few pixels wouldn't be bad at all now it's okay let's press done and right now we have a square that i can put anywhere and let's add here an effect which is the glow style and it's in white by the way if i want to change the color just need to come here and select i don't know red or maybe let's select something different blue which was what we had before yellow but let's leave it on white so we have a white square just moved my screen now one of the things that i find it's a limitation on melt studio is i don't have a function of undo a control z or command z so i will need to get right over here and eyeball and there we go centralized once again let's go to video device and right now i want to do round corners so bam i've got a perfect circle right over here with a border on the top i can decrease the size 
and I can put it right over here. So this way I can, for example, show you anything on my screen, like any tutorial that I'm showing. And uh, I've got my face, I've got um, what I'm doing on my screen, and that is just awesome. So we have the first part finished. Now this is the scene one. Let's imagine that I want a similar scene, so I'm going to duplicate. And in this scene, I want my face to be with a different configuration. So let's remove the roundness and let's put it right over here. Probably going to put it on the top so that it's a bit different. Now, if I change uh, this scene, you can see that it looks really, really cool. Now let's do something a little bit different. Duplicate this one right over here. I'm going to select the crop tool. I'm going to do it like this and let's press done. I need to move it to this side crop and select the all area. And besides selecting the all area, let's increase the size or let's say stretch to or fit to canvas. So it's on full width. And right now, if I select scene two or scene one, there we go, a circle, a square, and then I go to full screen. I can uh, say whatever I'm saying, doesn't matter. And bam, just look at this. In terms of the animations, it's great. Now, if you want to change the animation, you just need to go to the preferences on Windows options. And then on the transitions, you will be able to move, cut, fade, morph. Morph is a nice, it's not as good in my opinion. So you can see that it will morph the image. My favorite one is uh, the move, which is this one that we were using. So let's put it on move and let's leave it like that. If you want to test out the others, feel free to do. But this is honestly my favorite one. And if I want, I can disable image one here, for example. So if I move here, it will change the image on the background and we can change a lot of stuff instead of a static image. If I want, I can put a movie, for example, a video clip, which will loop if I want. So there we go. And basically, this is it regarding the Melt Studio, which in my opinion, it's a great option, the best alternative that I'm aware so far, at least free alternative to OBS. And hopefully I was able to help you to get this simple scene so that you can make your videos and your tutorials a bit richer. That being said, my name is Roberto George. Hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.